Hey, what's up guys? We're continuing on with our Hitman Blow Money walkthrough in this mission number 10, A House of Cards, which is actually pretty self-explanatory. This mission is very easy. It is a little bit long because of the waiting around, but other than that, it's not too complicated of a mission. I have a reservation. The name is Kropes. Let's see. There it is. Here's your key card. Our new key cards are floor specific, so they only give you access to the floor you're staying on. That's fine. Alrighty then. On behalf of Shamal Hotel and Casino, let me be the first to wish you a very pleasant stay, Dr. Kropes. Floor specific. They only give you access to the floor you're staying on, okay? Got it. Okay, so after that little conversation here, we have a target that's actually in the casino right now. You can head that way and take him out if you want to, but uh, he's going to come to the elevator. And he's just easier to take out that way. Plus, if you go down this way, you're going to be waiting on a camera and it could possibly spot you. So, yeah. here comes the other target. So all you're going to do is get in this elevator here and climb the shaft, uh, or the hatch, whatever it is, and then you're basically going to wait on one of the targets to come in this elevator, and then we have a second elevator which is right next across from this one that the other target that's in the casino is going to go into that elevator. One of the targets actually takes about seven minutes to actually get in the um, lounge or the casino, whatever it is. But luckily for me, I had pretty good timing and I was able to get this mission done, which takes about 12 minutes or so, depending on timing and everything else. I thought I was going to have to cut this video in uh, sections, but I actually did not have to do that. So there wasn't too much waiting around here as the first target is actually making his way to the elevator right now. Now when he gets in here you can take him out but I recommend you wait for the elevator door to shut and then start moving and then you can take him out that way. It just makes things a lot easier. So get your fiber wire out and then take him out. Once the elevator door is closed you know you're pretty much good to go. You do not need this guy's disguise. The second guy that we are taking out, you actually need his disguise. But you can go ahead and pick up his uh, room key. You don't need it for anything. Pick up the payment briefcase. And we're going to head back down to the lobby. And now you're just going to make your way to the elevator or straight across from you. And that's where this target who's in the casino right now is going to actually be heading this way. And he's going to be getting in this elevator. And it's basically just a rinse and repeat same process. Except after taking out the second target who's coming in this elevator right now, you're going to take his disguise. This is where I was going to cut the video short, but luckily one of the targets, the third and final target, actually shows up. So I was able to keep this video one whole video without doing any edits or anything like that.
And here's the third and final target, the Sheik. He actually arrived just in time. Normally it takes him about seven minutes or so. But uh, it only took him about five and a half. Uh, it might be different on your playthrough, but he's very easy to take out. Alright, the second target has made his way in here. Wait for the doors to close. Get your fiber wire out. When the elevator starts moving, take him out the fiber wire. Same method we did with the first guy. Except this time you're going to pick up this guy's key card and you're going to take his disguise. Grab your sniper rifle and uh, we're going to head to where he was actually going. Which is to the 8th floor. As long as you have his key card you won't have any issues. So luckily for me everything in this mission actually was a one time go. It did not take long at all to actually uh, take out any of these targets and it worked out perfectly because the third target actually arrived within a little over five minutes but it didn't take him the total seven minutes that would normally take him. Might be different on your playthrough. Either way you're still gonna follow the same steps here. We are waiting for the Sheik to head to the lounge. Once he's in the lounge, then we're going to pull the fire alarm. So do not pull it before he's in the lounge. Wait till he actually gets in the lounge, and then you can pull the fire alarm. If you do it before that, things just might not line up very correctly. And it could cause complications with you taking up the target. Once he's in the lounge, and as long as nobody is looking your way, you can actually go ahead and uh, pull this fire alarm. Once you pull the fire alarm, you need to grab your rifle and you can head straight to the room. And in this room, this is where we're going to call the Sheik and then we are going to take him out via sniper, which it's a clean kill. Uh, it should work every single time. So once you call him, he's pretty much easy uh, to take out. He, it's just going to be him. He doesn't have any bodyguards that actually follow him. So get out your sniper rifle and then get things ready. I know this alarm can be very annoying. I accidentally fired a shot here. You don't want to do that. Uh, make sure you just zoom in and you should be fine. So he will be coming right through these doors and then he stops at a certain point and you can just snipe, shoot him, and it's pretty much a done deal. So when he gets to a certain point, just wait. There you go, you took him out. You should get your silent assassin toward the end here. Uh, put your rifle back in your briefcase, and you should be fine. You can actually head back this way. You don't have to go the other way as long as you're in a disguise. They're not going to shoot at you or anything. It doesn't hurt anything because they did not see you do anything. So, As you can see, I get lost here a little bit trying to figure out, okay, what way do I got to go? Just remember what way you actually came and then you should not have an issue heading back toward the elevator. Make sure you go in this elevator and then you can just head back down to the lobby. You don't have to take your sniper rifle with you, you can just take the payment briefcase with you and it pretty much solves the issue there. Change back into your suit and you should be fine.
All right, now that you got the payment briefcase, you can pretty much exit and you should get your silent assassin as long as you do everything in the correct order. And as you're following this walkthrough, you should get it automatically, especially since you're using a disguise. Alright, there you go. There's your silent assassin, 11 minutes and 43 seconds. Hopefully, I was able to help you guys out on this mission, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.